my name's Ian Swainson, I'm the uh, head chef at CM Hall. Uh, hi there, I'm John Carlton, I uh, work at the Duke of Wellington Inn in Newton, Northumberland. Um, got through the final of professional master chef last year, fortunately didn't win it, but um, it went to a worthy winner in Clare. Um, and feel very privileged to be part of this book. It's an exciting project and um, it's great to be a part of. Hello, my name is David Coulson, uh, I'm from the Castle Evening. I wanted to be involved in the book because um, you know you've got the best chefs and restaurateurs within the North East and it would be a shame to miss out on that. Um, there's a hell of a lot of good producers, suppliers and um, you know hopefully these restaurants will do it justice and that's great to be a part of. These particular recipes that I chose, um, I really wanted to uh, reflect what ingredients they were locally um, and so, I mean, this is something that I've been doing with my menu as much as with regards to the, uh, this project itself. These are dishes on my menu. Um, I wanted to get things like the, the uh, Newcastle Brown ice cream on because it's, you know, it's something fun, it's something from around here. It's, it's using local ingredients and using them to the best of your ability. Again, the beef, we use uh, a, a Wallington estate, which I believe is fairly close. To around this area again I don't know the area very well but I do know my suppliers and they tell me uh, and it's great produce uh, at the end of the day you know having great produce on your door is is the best option rather than buying things from a long way abroad okay I've used mangoes but then again the mackerels just come straight off the sea which I can actually see right beside me now uh, so it, you know using great ingredients to the best of their ability and if I can get them locally then absolutely I will My, I think my style of cooking is, 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 um, is, is English, probably is northern, um, and, and, and just, just do things that taste familiar but just look a little bit different. I personally think that's a bad thing. Uh, it's something that I absolutely want to change um, on a personal level as much as for the area and for the hotel. Um, I believe that Michelin stars are extremely important. It shows uh, a level of quality, a level of performance um, that uh, that is really it, it. It shows that you're at the top, top, top end of your career, of your career. So yeah, for me, Northeast needs Michelin stars, and hopefully, I can uh, I can achieve some here. The fact that there's no Michelin stars in the Northeast isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, sometimes, you know. People like to go the other way, people are looking for good value, good value for money. Um, lots of different little individually owned pubs, bistros opening up. Uh, it's good times, I don't think it really affects that there isn't a Michelin star. The best thing about doing Master Chef for me was uh, getting to go and cook in the number one restaurant in the world. How many chefs get to do that? It's, it's, it's massive and I spent three days there and it was just a marvellous experience. Uh, since I took part in MasterChef, it's opened up a lot of doors, made a lot of contacts, made some good friends in Dave and Claire. I uh, just got back this week from Liverpool, helping Claire out at the college. Um, done a few outside catering events and stuff like that. Been asked to do part of the Eat Festival. I'm actually opening it up on the Friday, the 17th of June, um, with a canopy job for 300 of the region's best suppliers who have all won awards. Um, which, you know, again, it's quite prestigious, the fact that they've asked me. Um, it was just great to be a part of, you know, meeting people like Michelle Rue, went to the world's number one restaurant, Norma, um, an amazing experience, really glad that I did it.